This time on Hobby Journey, you should be looking at the pre-orders for the 27th of January with lots of Bretonian Knights. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Hobby Journeys. So as always, we're going to be looking at the pre-orders that are going up uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday, the uh, 27th of January. Um, and also a bit of a look at the pre-orders that went up last week. So just have a little bit of a review of that. So first up, we have got Deathwing Assault went up on sale. Um, £135. Obviously sold out. I mean, I said at the time, that's just going to sell out. It's Space Marines. I mean, limit, limited edition box, Space Marines, it's going to go in seconds, as it did. Mm. But we did like the look of it, though, didn't we, Matthew, with all the Terminators? Yeah. So I thought that would be quite nice. I think... So I think it's 15 Terminators, £135. You do get the Codex as well, so it wasn't bad value, but, you know, as I say, out of stock now, so here we are. Um, we also had a bit of controversy because we had the uh, the End of the Death went up on sale uh, with some limited edition books, uh, which I reckon if we scroll down here, have probably sold out because, unfortunately, Scalpers got involved and took all of them. All of them, Matthew. What's a Scalper? Scalper? Scalper is somebody who goes online and buys up things at limited edition to sell them on to higher price. So they bought lots and lots of copies. So there was a limited edition version of The End of the Death Volume 3 that went up to sale, the final book in the Horus Heresy. Obviously a lot of people quite keen to get their hands on the final book in the Horus Heresy in a limited edition format. But Scalpers got involved, they took all the copies, so here we are, what can you do? Um, everyone was very unhappy about it. Games Workshop tried to make some changes to the queuing system, I think they can some of the orders from the scalpers but uh, unfortunately those scalpers are crafty and they got in there and they took all the copies why don't why don't we just make it so of limited different stuff you can only buy one of it well they do and also but then people set up multiple accounts and things like that and you know, and they have bots which go off and try and buy, so they put in place capture, to, which means that you have to verify you're a human, and somehow they got around that as well. It's just, it's a whole thing. They've got a technology problem to sort out, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, you know, anyway, they uh, they were not having fun with that. Uh, but, yeah, quite a week for the pre-orders with that going on. Anyway, for next week's pre-orders going up on the 27th, so that's tomorrow, we've got... Old world. The old world made to order by the looks of things. So uh, so you'll be able to order it, but I'm guessing there'll be a bit of a turnaround on the way. Um, I'm pretty sure these are older models. You can usually tell by how squat they are. So, oh, yeah, here we go. Even the paint looks old. Yeah, well, they, you know, they, they, they aren't... Um, along the same lines exactly as uh, as you know the older style models. I mean, this is a late nineties model. This this uh, this chap on the Pegasus. I mean, I was still into the hobby that, and I've had twenty odd. Year, I had a twenty year break in it. Um, so yeah, I mean, old models. It is a thing. These guys, two thousand and four. So you know, we're still talking. We took best part of twenty years ago. Um, but they are available to buy. I mean, and I know that a lot of people are fans of this. I mean, I was talking to someone in the comments who was saying that. Uh, so yeah, I should. Really, I should have done my research and found the name of the person I was talking to because it was quite an interesting interaction we had. But we were talking about uh, these models, and apparently there was in the um, Warmer Fancy Battle uh, players do prefer the less detailed models because they look better in a rank and file setup. Because I don't know if you know how these set up, but you have them all on the square base and you put them right next to each other. So it's not like in 40k where you space them out or Age of Sigma where you've got them all on bases within two inches of each other. You have them right up close to each other. Uh um, also, why do they look like Dynasty banners? Uh, what do you mean Dynasty? Oh yeah, because, well, they are Dynasty banners. So the Bretonians are basically medieval knights. So they all have, like, uh, the knights' heraldry and all that so sort like, of thing going on. So, like, are they kind of supposed to look like soldiers with their dynasty on it? Yeah, exactly. So they're all knights like of the in, realm. And... Like in... Crusader Kings. Exactly, they are they are knights of that style, modelled on the sort of French chivalric uh, knights. Is that and so why on. they've got the French symbol on? Yeah, exactly. The fleur de lis. 
etc. Yeah, so I'm guessing so. Um, obviously, there's a few fancy elements. You got the this guy's way of riding the Pegasus, but um, you know the idea is to take those. That's on medieval theme. You see all these guys with different heraldry on yeah. different color schemes. That one looks a bit like Scottish. Yeah, yeah. That one looks like a Viking kind. Well, of I'm one. really hoping they put out some new knight models. I think there is. I mean, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they announced in the way they was, but I'm pretty sure there were some new knights because I quite like the idea of painting uh, Bretonian knights. And get, I might get like a couple of boxes and then paint them up with it because you can paint them all up their own different schemes like paint each knight with his own little colour scheme they look quite good together I could make a game in CK3 and make my Dynasty banner on one of them you could yeah you could play uh, I mean I'm imagining at some point someone will do um, a Crusader Kings uh, mod for Warhammer I think if they haven't already I mean if, you know there probably is one out there might well be a probably thing probably not a popular one but there probably will be one but then there is, I mean on the other side of the coin you could play uh, Total War th uh, 3 and so on which are very very similar so you get to fight the actual battles yeah, we've got damsels of the lady. The lady that's the like lady of the lake. It was a bit modelled around the Arthur, the Arthur, Arthurian legend. So you know King Arthur and so on with the lady of the lake, that sort of thing. Wasn't King Arthur a real person? Uh, well, you know, you get in, he's a legendary character. I mean, there's a, a thinking that King Arthur was based upon actual historical characters, possibly, but not really recorded in any sort of detail in history. Uh, but then we've got some tomb kings. So the tomb kings are made, modeled on ancient Egypt, but they're all undead. Hmm. It's all skeletons and stuff like that. And there's quite a few of those. It's a bit well. like mummies. Yeah, basically mummies and so on. So these guys are essentially mummies. These guys are tomb kings themselves. Uh, Leech Priest, Battle Stands and so on. I, I really like the Tomb Kings. Uh, they were actually a bit after my time, actually, because they came out in the early 2000s. I wasn't playing Fantasy Battle by then, but, um, I, you know, I do like the models. They look cool. I'm into that. I, like I say, I'd much rather see some new models coming out, but there is nothing wrong with seeing some of the old models. I mean, you know, I do think it's a bit of a cheap way for GW to do it, but I know that there are some more things on the way and new models. So can't complain if, if some of the old models get a bit of time as well anyway, there we go so we've got uh, some black library stuff zombie slayer in uh, on audiobook um more books yeah necron book by the looks of things and then warmer plus we've got the normal law masters um uh you know uh master class looks He's looks into the like Bretonians. yeah and the, and the battle report again oh hey just see that yeah, yeah, that is a good model, that one. Good model. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, very good. And that was it. So we're basically the big release, it looks like these old Bretonian models. So not a lot that's very new actually, just in fact incredibly old. But I uh, you know. I uh, but I as I say, I I am assured that this sort of style does suit the uh, fantasy battle player. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, there we go. So, which of you, which is your favourite out of those fantasy um, battle miniatures? Mm, I'm going to um, continue to call it fantasy battle. It is called the old world these days, but you know, I'm, I'm keeping it old school. Uh, the night, the knights of the realm. Yeah, I, I like these. Could you see yourself getting some of these, Matthew? Do you think you'd want to paint them? No, you're not keen on this. What if they put out some new models? If you had some new style, maybe bit updated models of these maybe. knights. Yeah. Well, why aren't you so keen though? I'd have thought you'd be quite not into some uh, knights. I am, just not old ones. Just not old ones. Well, there we go. Anyway, that's a thing. Anyway, there we go. So, not a lot in the way of new models, but that's that's how it is. Anyway, what have we got to say to the viewers, Matthew? Bye. Don't forget to make one job, Matthew. you got one job. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>